G'day and welcome to the 2018 coverage of the Two Heads Open down in Poimena, Tasmania. Uh, I'm Oscar Feldberg and I'm joined today by the Melbourne Disc Golf Club captain, Cam Ford. How's it going? Oh, what an amazing intro. Thank you, Oscar. Um, very excited to, uh, to at least start commentary um, for, my, for my first time. Yeah, true. Um, so yeah, very excited for this. A good way to start it, we've got um, a packed card of five here. Uh, Paddy Robinson, uh, Jarrah Sweeten, Casper Car Howard. And uh, in uh, Local boy. boy? Yeah, yeah, Local Boy. We're starting off on uh, hole one. It's a bit of a difficult one. It's yeah. pretty plays pretty long. It does. It, uh, it, it says one fifteen. I think it probably plays maybe that one twenty five. Yeah, you've got this sort of big tree that blocks you the, the right hand hyzer. So you've got to kind of let something uh, hang out left and sort of anhyzer back in towards the tree, which is a pretty touchy shot given this uh, hillside. Yeah, and here we have, obviously, Paddy making it look quite easy. Um, definitely doesn't play that easy for most people. Yeah, not many people are going long of this basket like that. Like, gee, I think we were pretty surprised uh, yeah, when, when, when he pumped that out, but it looked pretty effortless again. Thank you, Paddy, for <laughs> showing us how to throw a frisbee. Yeah, exactly. He <laughs> showed the line perfectly there. Um, let's see if Jazz can uh, replicate that. He's got that quite high. Definitely a higher line, but... Looks like God. it's coming. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, working. It is. Yeah, you can't really ask for anything better on that. Here's the Poimina roll. <laughs> oh, he gets away with it. Didn't roll down the hill, unfortunately. But That's <laughs> one of the main themes of Poimina is the elevation, and with elevation comes rollaways, so you never really know what you're going to get once it hits the ground. So uh, obviously I know I don't have the distance here, so I'm just going a little bit shorter, just hazarding up there just to get the three. Yeah, playing for the three uh, is a pretty common and smart play, so well done. Got local boy Ian, who I'm sure has played this hole about 30,000 times. If I lived locally to this course, I would be out there as much as possible. And so this is the local route, apparently, and, <laughs> gee, gets the local treatment pretty brutal. I think it's still rolling. I think it's still rolling to today, so... Yeah, it's probably in the harbour. <laughs> Casper lefty, a difficult hole for the lefty, but it's looking put a good move on it. Oh, it just catches good the last back. one. Should be able to get up and down from there pretty easy. So 400 metres away, we have it in. Uh, <laughs> for way down in the bay. And that's a pretty hard shot because he's throwing way uphill there. No, so he's, he's done all right to get on the green. Here's your approach. Just a simple putter. Nice little putter up. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Casper trying to do the same. Just clips the trees. Yeah, should have a putt there. We're just seeing uh, that's Ian's disc laying up near the basket there. So this is our patty for a very nice birdie if you can hit this. A rare birdie, I would say, on this hole. Oh. Well, funny thing about Paddy Starr is you can't tell if he's running or laying up. It's exactly the same. Like, no one could tell. Yeah, Jazz yeah, obviously going to run it. And it's got a few strokes to make up. Oh, Boom. Yeah. Oh. Great part by Jazz. Not sure how many birdies were done on this hole throughout the weekend, but... Oh, that's Casper for par, just missing low. Ian in for bogey, which is probably a lot more common than bogey. <laughs> so I was very happy with this par just to get this hole out of the way. Boom. Yeah, great part. Yeah, Jazz taking the only uh, birdie and Casper and Ian still battling it out there. Hole two? Yeah, hole two. So a pretty, a pretty tricky one. Obviously, you know, 100 metres, um, a lot of trees in the way. There's a few lines that you can take, obviously the left hand. Um, sorry, the, the left or the right uh, side line. Just, just going for that, yeah, highs are out. The, the right hand line right. just, Come on. It, it's right there for that backhand shot, but the, the ceiling is a lot lower, so uh, you've got to play a touchy shot there. Oof. Looks like it just got slapped down with the uh, with the wind there, but he did hit a tree. You got on the right line as well, yeah, pushing the ceiling. Entire yeah. weekend, I hit the same tree. I tried to <laughs> tried to get under it, but 
could not. Oh, I think he's Ian just trying to overcorrect there, putting that into the ground. But um, not a bad uh, line, not a bad hole for the lefty. Yeah, Whoa. just pumps it out there. That is looking great. Yeah, that's about eight metres from the pin there. Really well played. It's a bit of a tricky forehand up there, strange stance, but... And the wind is starting to pick up. Yeah, you can hear that and the dancing in the wind, but... A little bit long, but yeah, definitely got a putt. What are you going here for your upshot? Just a uh, very unstable firebird. Oh, yeah. Try to uh, run it there. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> lucky, oh, lucky the wind there, <laughs> just, just sitting down. You can go on to a... Uh, Putter up shot. Just getting caught in the wind, I think. Unfortunate tree kick. Ooh, that's that's gonna leave him with a tester there for par. This is to Patty for yeah. par there. Three, yep. yep. Great putt by Patty. Again, could have been laying up, who knows? <laughs> this is Casper for Birdie. Be a great get. Yeah. Yeah, so it took his time, but obviously uh, gets what he needed. Yeah, the, the conditions were starting. You could tell there was a change coming at this point. It was pretty yeah. nice at the start, like the whole day. A whole weekend was great, but um, yeah, just see some clouds coming over the mountains in the back backdrop. Yeah, I think uh, I think at least every time I've played this tournament, we've had one day of just rain. Um, we didn't have that this this time, and I think it was uh, I think it was making up uh, up for it on this afternoon final line. Yeah, Ian just struggling to to get a good start, but Casper capitalizes, and um, everyone else taking. Par, and then we move on to a, a big par five. Uh, it's not that long, but it's super uphill, and that green is so treacherous. Yeah, very, very steep. Um, the camera doesn't almost do it justice for how, how steep this uh, hole is, but you're pretty much shooting, you know, directly uphill for 200 meters. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, off the tee, really just trying to bite off as much as he can. Anything past that tree where Casper. Landed is is pretty good. You can see the winds, yeah, having some effect, but not a jazz shot there. Not stable driver. You can see went in course there and just, just ripped it. All good. Oh, wind takes it and just flip that over. Yeah, past that road is out of bounds and let's just turn that one over too much. Going G Star Destroyer. Good old G Star Destroyer. Something a little bit flippy, but good finish, but just didn't get enough on it. I think the wind just took it over. And Ian with a really nice drive off there. That's textbook. Right where you want to be. Ideally, the second shot, you kind of. This basket you're seeing here, this is the incorrect basket. It's for the. Um, Casual course, I guess, not tournament course. But um, yeah, this second shot, you're really trying to get around the corner if you can and have yeah. a look straight at the basket because if you can't see the green, you don't really know where you're throwing. And yeah, it's definitely. a tricky green for sure. Like, yeah, what Casper's doing here is, is a great shot. He's um, over that hill, almost OB, but I think he held. I think he yeah, held he's no, stayed in bounds there. Bounds. Jazz going big, and he's trying to bite off a lot in this shot. Just gets caught. I think he's yanked that little. Yeah, he's he's found the out of bounds as well. So Paddy playing pretty conservatively. Yeah, I just kind of <laughs> slightly missed uh, the blue <laughs> disc on the blue background, but hey, he's uh, landed up on the fence near his mulch here. So as you can see, the basket's on um, a mound um, of some stone here. So it's we've got probably thirty-five k winds at the moment. Um, looking to play up to this basket. I'm trying to run it. 
You're trying to put this one in? Yeah, okay. <laughs> for sure. I believe that. <laughs> but this, this basket, I mean, even uh, I played with some locals uh, in the r- previous rounds and they were laying up from any, you know, up to 10 metres in, in yep. distance. And, yep. yeah. What you have from the other side of that basket, as you can see, is just a beautiful view, but you've just got wind. Um, just wind, wind everywhere. Big, <laughs> big drop off and almost certain roll away, so... Great little upshot by Putty there. Still got a quite challenging putt. Wow, and this is where Casper's second shot is, so he's just going to be trying to slide this one up, get his birdie. And it does it does yeah. jump off, but you've still got a you've got a pretty good chance to hit that on the comeback up. As we see, just taking no <laughs> chances. Yeah, the disc can definitely can, fly, this fly is the away. headwind side, so <laughs> as you may be here on the uh, on the camera there, yeah, not even worth trying to go for. <laughs> but who knows with this guy, is he running, <laughs> is he laying up? Ooh. Oh. So wow. unfortunate. Hits chains, lucky to hit chains Very and lucky to not get the roll away after bouncing out. You can see the beautiful uh, Hobart, Hobart? You're in Hobart. Beautiful Hobart view just there. Um, it, it's such a pretty course. Oh, um, I was blown away. I knew uh, everyone talked about how awesome it was, but it really is something else playing there. Jazz just getting unlucky. He gets smacked back down by the wind on his par putt, but um, ends up with a bogey. Good Casper. Great birdie. Played that hole exactly how it should be played. And so I was getting a little bit worried here because Cass was only, um, it was only, I think, three, two or three strokes behind me. Yeah, um, he's, and he's hit what the other one. Firing. Yeah, par than birdie, and I've just gone par par. So he's he's creeping up. Um, yeah, so trying to at least get an, an, a birdie on the next few holes just to make sure he's not going to overtake me there. Yeah, so bogey from the uh, two top boys there, so. And here, uh, some form yeah. of hurricane. Um. <laughs> it was looming and it just started really coming through as we're teeing off on hole four, which is 118 metres downhill. It's a long way, but it's so downhill, really just throwing like a straight mid range at yeah. this one and trying to yeah. get the speed control right, check That's it out with the green. Yeah, yeah, part of, part of mid range, just trying to get down there. You've got, it's pretty safe, you know, once you kind of get down that 80 metres. As you can see here, I'm trying to go for a shot and the wind is just doing something. Yeah, I've got no idea. trees there, getting <laughs> hammered. No idea what to throw. Just going up there just to throw it down the hill and see what I can do. What are you throwing in the end? Um, just a, a pretty stable claymore. Um, just to go down, it, it does just get lifted by the wind. Wow. Uh, as you can see. You've almost passed the complete wrong basket there. <laughs> so I got a good distance, but... <laughs> That's going to be trying to do the same. Yeah. Get straight. Got a mid range in his hand there. That's turned over a little bit, but it's kind of fought through the trees. He's he's kind of pin high, but he's pinched behind those bushes. Yeah. And uh, this oh, is the pro line. route. That's yeah. what I forgot to take. Yeah, that little little highs I shot um, just with the putter and just parks the basket. Far oh, out, long of the pin with this wind just smashing it down there. <laughs> Patty. Uh, just Look at that air bounce <laughs> straight out of the hand. Five metres out of the hand and you're up 100 metres. Almost, almost aces it. An amazing shot. From the tee, straight through the chains. But And uh, then it started raining. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's, it's raining sideways. So we're going to have to go with some super accurate recreation here. Oh, Cam's thrown... <laughs> Just throws it a little bit wide. Yeah, Casper just plays that up shot. Uh, and so does Ian. So Paddy... Oh, into a raging headwind. Paddy and Jazz Paddy hit that birdie. Jazz. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> that is probably the best recreation I could uh, thanks, ever wish thanks, for. Man. You know, yeah, I, I tried my best and, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. That is amazing. Get the job um, done. That's almost better than actually seeing those shots, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, Patty and Jazz's putts were pretty incredible. We're on to hole five, shortest hole on the course. We don't have the drives off the tee because it was still pouring rain at this point. But short hole, but 
an island hole, as always, <laughs> difficult. Sorry, Jack, I wish Jack's I did this on every hole. the island. Gomez, um, Central Coast, uh, <laughs> let's, let's get this going, all right? Um, the latest technology. Oh, Cam, what are you doing? <laughs> spraying just one off, missing it. the island. So most of us have missed the, uh, missed the island. Um, so we've had to park from the drop zone, and that's where we we're are. Back, we're back live now, and so it's, it's sunny and beautiful. It's sunny and beautiful. That's for three. Hey! Hey! That a what part. a mate! That's a that's probably like fifteen meters. Yeah. Not an easy part with the left <laughs> slope. <laughs> Trying to uh, show off to Casper, who also <laughs> went. Um, yeah, who also didn't hit the island. Um, I think he uh, was definitely trying to run it here. Yeah, he gives us a great go, but. Ends up sliding a bit long. Yeah, dangerous part coming back downhill, so it's got to really work on it, work for it. I was Ian just missing his uh, birdie part to the right. Casper coming back, trying to save bogey at this point. Just low. If uh, sorry, Casper, but you should have seen the smile on my face when you did that. So <laughs> <laughs> now this is for birdie. I think this is for par. For par. Uh, or bogey. Or bogey. Uh, yeah, yeah. sorry. Bogey. Sorry, bogey. Go. Yes. Missing it's a bit flight. difficult when you haven't <laughs> got all of the footage. Casper coming back. Unfortunate double bogey there, but that, that's just island holes. Yeah, that's what that's happens. It. And we still had a lot of wind on our drives and everything was wet. Um, <laughs> very Apparently wet. the chains are still a bit too wet. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Just a but bit as you can right see, the wind is just gone. The wind has literally just stopped, so we're playing in pretty beautiful weather now <laughs> after yeah. a slight hurricane. Fairly typical Hobart weather, really, just all out storm for 15 minutes and then all back to normal. That's it. A bit of damage done on that hole, but um, we'll move on to hole six. Yeah, it's a really fun hole. Um, I, I enjoy playing this hole, so you're thrown over, the, over a road, um, pretty much straight across um, this is the same level as where you're thrown to. Yeah, it's a bit of a valley shot. Yeah. There's kind of two players. There's this flex forehand with something stable, trying to uh, fade back up the hill after uh, the initial turnover. And then there's sort of like a, a straight mid-range backhand play. Yeah, I'm trying to do that turnover. Uh, forehand shot just comes out a little bit too early, but... Snuck around that tree, though. And yeah. You're pin high. Yeah, a little just bit of a, a little... there. Um, sort of eight metres up the hill. So Ian playing the more conventional, just, yeah, slight hyzer. Ian, and, yeah, plays it pretty well. Yeah, great shot. Yeah, nice yeah. yeah, the tee pad was pretty wet and uh, pretty muddy, so you couldn't really move too much. Trying to find the right footing there, but Jazz doesn't throw a lot of forehands, but that's come out pretty clean. Absolutely oh, parked. Great yep. shot. It's way up there. I think Cass was going putter off the tee there yeah. as well. If you're a lefty, I guess that kind of makes sense. A little bit understable trying to get it over there, and a oh, great up shot though by Cass. Obviously not happy. He <laughs> wanted a bit more, a bit more on that, I guess. Paddy's finding himself down the hill, but he's just pitching up for par. I had this uh, little gap through the trees that I was trying to get to uh, for the bird. There is no gap. <laughs> but, oh, 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 apparently so there is a gap there. All right. <laughs> this is Ian and his birdie attempt. Bit of a straddle. Just low. Bit of a slip there. It's <laughs> definitely getting slippery and the yeah. hillside's not helping. I think it runs like a wet dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally no one was prepared for that rainstorm. That's why we had to cut the footage. Just no one had umbrellas. Everyone got soaked. But uh, that'll do it. Very easy birdie for Jazz there. Great drive from him.
after that hot start, Casper's kind of having a bit of a rough patch, so must be getting close between uh, him and Ian now. Yeah, here's that terrible view that we've had to oh, play with all weekend. Rubbish. Yeah, Paddy's still got that, that big lead over Jazz. Yeah, he just played too well over those I mean, two of those rounds were just absolutely um, super hot and yeah, he just pretty much ran over the field um, for the whole weekend. Whole seven though. Oh my goodness. So we've Such got about a, a 55 metre shot to get out of the trees. So you can see a pretty tight alley there. Probably about max of three metres wide. Like, <laughs> yeah. come on. So we, we, they pushed it back um, even further. I think every year we're going to be about 300 metres back <laughs> at some point. But um, So Jazz obviously is taking out the trees and just going yeah. for a thumber. If you've got a 60 metre thumber that you can crush nice and high and make sure you get out. Why not? But, yeah, um, so he plays it just outside the um, the alley there. Ooh, just missing. Catching a stump. Not a bad kick though. You can kick pretty deep into these thin uh, woods, but. Oh, you are a hyped. What, yeah. what did you throw there? Just uh, a brilliant. pretty beating yeah. eagle um, yep. that just flies. Yeah, a little bit of turn, but yeah, pretty straight. So. I was hoping I would do that, and I was absolutely <laughs> stoked to, to get out of it. Um, given how tight the spare is, I, I couldn't do that all weekend, so did do it on the final nine. Um, yeah, it was a, it felt really good. Yeah, I couldn't, can't say I saw anyone do anything remotely close to that on any of my groups. This so, was more along the lines of what I was doing. <laughs> We're down in the bush, uh, playing, <laughs> playing out to try and get back in that fairway, and, and at least you know try and get par from here. Yeah, most people, if you're off slightly, you're probably pitching out or pitching as far up as you can. So Paddy's trying to get out the gap and... Just unfortunate, yeah. He got the further kick <laughs> left as well. That's going to be interesting to see where that puts him because it's, it's pretty mean over there. Got to give credit to the Tassie guys, though. It's, it's a really good hole if you get out oh. easily. It's, it's, it's a great hole if you get caught up. It's a terrible hole, but... I think that's what disc golf is so all about. Great challenge of your skill oh, and commitment. Fantastic shot. Tricky one for the lefty, but he gets that turnover nicely. And it's, it's also alright, like from here, you should be thinking, I'm going to try and save path. Um, yeah. At this point, the basket's just on that left. You may see a, a, a tree trunk just to the left there. We're you know shooting still up the hill a little bit, um, yeah. so we're probably still, uh, what would I say, maybe sixty meters from from where Paddy is now. Obviously, yeah, if he was yeah. in the fairway, really got nothing there. <laughs> yeah, I think for a while he was he was trying to find forehand lines to get out. Um, like out of the, the bush and into the open fairway, but really had nothing. So he's just going to be pitching up in the end. Yeah. He's got those strokes to burn, so... That's it. Smart play. And just that effort that Strava that he's always, uh, always pulling out. That should be on the green, so... Chance to save bogey, I believe. What a, what a caddy yeah, that great, guy great is. Caddy. Absolute legend. Alan Brunstein there just being a, a top bloke and uh, yeah, caddying for me up these hills. That's Jazz from his thumber. That's his second shot. This is your second shot. Yeah. Playing wide around forehand. Yeah, pretty stoked. Pretty yeah. stoked to get there. Ian's going Heiser, putter to the oh, green. Was got a long jumper. I'm guessing his disc may have rolled, cut, rolled. Yeah, must have. Yeah. Just it's low. It's, it's yeah. Oh, so this is uh, Jazz's look for birdie. Yeah. Bit of a tough one. Not too far out though. Unfortunately, got it. To, uh, chain high, but seven from par. Bar. Double bogey there from Paddy. He's probably not too stoked with that, but overall doing fine. Nice birdie, man. It 
definitely do that all weekend. So again, yeah. I'm very happy to uh, <laughs> get that out. Yeah, quite a yeah, quite a few strokes. Um, yeah, put on this hole. I think all weekend, but yeah, final nine. What's this? Three bogeys, uh, one par and a birdie. So yeah, definitely one of the harder holes. Mm. I think if you hit early, it's uh, you're struggling. You're playing it like a par five from there, <laughs> pretty much. That's it. Yeah, four stroke difference between uh, Patty and Jazz now. One hole, uh, two holes to play. So, yep. yep. Just looking to hold on to yeah those strokes. I think Patty's obviously pretty safe unless something crazy happens. But in this hole, 84 meters. I swear it's a bit longer. It, yeah, I don't reckon it plays 84. And I just shanked it. Yeah. <laughs> Tried too hard. I was feeling all confident, I think, from the last hole. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing back over the road, which is really the danger. You can, um, you can find yourself OB. And that was looking that was looking pretty tasty. Again, a perfect uh, tree placement. Yeah. <laughs> for this hole. Pretty much back uh, lefty or righty, you've kind of got to flex it around that tree and, and fade back towards the green. That's... Road has played no, not OB. I think it is OB. It is OB, yeah. I think I'm sure oh, whether he slid somewhere. on or off. Off it there. Maybe he's taking a tree kick, but... Should be able to get up and down from there. Oh, <laughs> so dead, dead center. So unfortunate. <laughs> this is a pretty tricky upshot here. Yeah, just. Oh, it was, oh. yeah, almost, almost up, but yeah. Got a, got a putt from there, about 12 <laughs> metres downhill. Yeah, great up, uh, Paddy there. Awesome. Again, going with the... A little bit too much power there. Putter. I think he's just ended up sort of in the trees behind the basket. Has gone with the turnover putter and that's left himself a test to, um, to come back at. I think Casper did end up in bounds here. He must have just crossed the road yep. into the gravel. I think everyone uh, is getting pretty tired as well. We've obviously played yeah, within three rounds of this very hilly, challenging course and Two last holes and yeah, yeah, <laughs> <see it there. laughs> pretty exhausted. Looked like a good layout, but I'm sure <laughs> you were trying to run that. No power left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, nice come back. Is Jazz for par? Probably one of the strongest putters, I'd say, within Australia. I think at this point... But, uh... <laughs> I'll leave my own words there. His first... Uh, after getting sponsored by Latitude, so I think he was kind of adjusting to putters and trialling discs at this point. So. Yeah, he'd thrown a lot of disc craft um, previously, but then he yeah, got picked up by Lat. Uh, Lat 64 was a, one of the only two in Australia with, with Paddy Robinson there uh, to be sponsored. I'd see a few bogeys, a few pars, but unfortunately no birdies on uh, on this hole. Right, last yeah. hole. And uh, pretty space out everywhere, but uh, it's sort of a battle for a fourth and fifth at the moment still. Uh, you need to, to make up a stroke. Go on to hole nine. 
This is a tough one as well. Yeah. Plays a bit a lot longer than 86 metres. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty much paying back from where we came from, just up the hill more. So it's kind of a strange sort of show, isn't it? It's like a flex forehand. If you've got a crush of a flex it's, forehand, it's a pretty. It's it, I get it. It feels it plays a lot longer than 86 metres. Um, you are going slightly uphill, which I think obviously maybe makes it that 100 metre shot. Mm. You can kind of make it with the backhand, but it is it's a, yeah, you used to flex right a lot and, and not fade down that hillside. Yeah, you got to throw definitely something stable, but really to trust your disc if you're trying to get up there for bird. Yep. Um, it's a pretty big crush if you're going dead dead straight with like a fairway driver there. And, and that's kind of the move you want. It's yeah. just getting well, <sighs> dropped yeah, by the wind. wind just picked up. <laughs> Not a bad lefty hole. Yeah, got that lower line that they can take in and hopefully skip up the hill. Let's just pull that a little bit. Found an early tree. Oh, that's <laughs> safer. <laughs> yeah, so Patty with again uh, a very strong, uh, very strong forehand can definitely get up. Yeah, can, can definitely get up the hill. He's taking that wide and it's moving. Oh, the wind is just. Oh, I'd say lucky tree kick yeah. almost. I was going places. <laughs> you go on the same line on that ESP force. Yeah, uh, it's had it, had that in my bag probably since I started playing disc golf, and it's a disc I can uh, usually trust pretty well. It's got a little bit of turn in it, but again, the wind just yeah, the wind wow. just took it away <laughs> and hadn't managed to fight through all of the trees. <laughs> but uh, should have it up <coughs> up and down from there. It would be hard to, I think, get a new bag, you know, a week or two oh. before the tournament and start, you know, working out what you're doing yeah. and what you're throwing. He did well uh, to adjust pretty quickly. He went the high Anheuser line there. Obviously, yeah, he got lost a little bit. It didn't in the, uh, quite work. But in the sky, but... This is Casper. I think this is a DX Stingray. Something, some flippy mid. Really cool uh, scene. This is going to come... Yep, it just floats down That's amazing. flat. That's Really cool shot. <laughs> That's a ridiculous shot. <laughs> yeah, Patty just playing very safe there. Finish off his uh, we'll finish off a great win um yeah. for the weekend for him. And go on, tomahawk. Up there for a putt. Probably circle's edge. Somehow got through all the trees and yeah, ended up with yeah, not a bad shot. So yeah, that'll that'll be a par. That's that's Paddy. Uh, sorry, Jazz out of the trees there. Long look for par. This is in actually. This is just tied up. Oh. So close. It's just been inches <laughs> too low on those, but oh. it's just in case you haven't had enough <laughs> point mean <laughs> last la hole, last part. <laughs> One last roll away. <laughs> Doesn't connect. Yeah. Patty to seal the deal. No problems. Yeah, Is this Patty's first two heads open win? Did he, he did he head out there last year? I can't remember. First MPO two heads win. I That's think. it. Yeah, Patty uh Definitely come through the ranks of a uh, uh, Australian Australian disc golf, and you flew through the ranks. Yeah. <laughs> light light speed, I think, is the uh, is the term you'd use. So, and then we just clean up the yeah, bogeys there. So, and there we have it. Uh, yeah, well done, uh, Paddy, and yourself. That was a.
great finish for you. Um, yeah, really happy with the uh, yeah finish of the, the, that my, my first final nine. So um, yeah, good to get on camera for one and and uh, it played pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, there we have it. Two heads open, final nine. Again, great event. If you can get out there at some point, um, yeah, please do. Rich always puts on a great, a great, a great weekend. Um, it's a fantastic course. Yeah, um, yeah, great event. Yeah. You get to just throw throw shots like that. So <laughs> yeah, great, great, all, great all round test of your game, but good for all skill levels as well, which is really enjoyable about the course. Um, so yeah, hopefully see everyone next year, and uh, we've got some Inverleague coverage coming up soon hopefully and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks, Thanks Oscar. Oscar.